Alright, we are returning to more of Space Station Silicon Valley, entering the ice area. So, we have to get a husky, turn on the snowblower, and activate the big computer thingy. And I've already tested this stage out a little bit. And in the actual N64 stage, what you do is you go to where the husky is, you get up on a hill nearby, because um, the husky is really bad at climbing up the uh, steep angled hill, and you just stand on the hill and pelt him with snowballs. And it takes about maybe 8 seconds to kill the husky, and then take him over. In this, because it's awful and garbage, you do basically the same thing, except you can only hit him with one snowball when he's going to the left, if you're super lucky, and one when he's going to the right, if you have good timing. Should've kept up the, uh, barrage there, but... Yeah, that's why this is a problem. Fortunately, there is no time limit, it's just... a big waste of the player's time. There. Huzzah, Husky. So yeah, now that we have a Husky, we can go do other things. Need that energy, but that's okay. I don't think we'll lose any in this stage. That was the only power cell I managed to find in this stage. So yeah, I'm still completely 100% uncertain as to um, how exactly you go about getting all the power cells in every stage because. There don't seem to be a standardized number of them per stage, so I don't know... Like, in getting that one, did I just get all the, um... Did I just get every single power cell in the stage? Are there more to get that I am... that I need to activate in some way? Answers that I do not have, and I don't know if I will ever have. Um, <laughs> this remains a game that uh, still has no walkthrough at Game of Accus or anywhere else that I've been able to find, and no one else has been batshit insane enough for me to play through this entire thing for YouTube. So yeah, just totally uncharted territory, and apparently it does not want us to use the rabbit to exit the stage. Also, the rabbit's foot stomp is by far one of the most fun attacks in the N64 version, reduced to total garbage in this version. So I guess let's go get the penguin back? I really don't know why this game has specific animal requirements for exiting the stage. The N64 one definitely did not. Like, sometimes you'd only be able to reach the exit with a certain animal, but, you know, on stages where you could reach the exit with any number of animals, touching the exit with any of those animals would work. Yeah. Maybe I just had to hit up. I don't even know. Honestly uncertain, but either way, we'll test that out more in the future. Yeah, it's entirely possible I could have exited the stage with the bunny. I just needed to hit up on the exit teleporter. Yeah, this is another amazingly good level in the N64 version which doesn't have you starting outside of your body. Don't know why that's a thing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so we just wait for the rabbit to fall down, I suppose. 
since we can do crap all else. No, oh, you little bastard, get down here. One thing I will give this game is that the rabbit does function mostly the same. In the N64 version and in this version, the rabbit can't actually move, he can only jump. Which is obviously a much worse thing in this crap fest of a mess. And no, can't do anything over there. <laughs> yeah, like I mentioned, the rabbit's attack is that it uses a big ol' hind leg to uh, rhythmically pound the ground. And it's like a boom, 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 boom kind of thing that uh, damages anything in a big radius nearby. And apparently that was one of the heads. What? Yeah, that's a frozen science professor's head. Looks exactly like it. Let's see, is this where we want to go? Not so much. So, ice cube? What can we do with an ice cube? See, in the igloo in the N64 game, we found the Hello Rabbit, which is literally exactly what you would expect. A rabbit with helicopter head. So that, um, could get around the stage. We're already done. Why are we already done? We didn't find the Hella Rabbit, we didn't find the Walrus. Well, there's the Walrus, but... Okay, okay, let's... Okay, there's the Hella Rabbit. Yep, yeah, get... <laughs> oh god, this is... Okay, at least it still functions like a hella rabbit. Its controls are not good. I have to keep uh, mashing the A button in order to move at all. In the N64 version, it is instead a thing where you will keep going upwards as long as you are holding the A button. Let's try and take out this walrus. They... They made everything so much easier in this, it's not even funny. Like, the enemies don't fight back at all and take, like, two hits each to kill. Alright, so the walrus has turbo speed and a missile that can only fire one of at a single time. Wow! This game is just all of the pathetic. Gonna need to get up there, obviously. Hey, golden igloo icon. I feel like I should be taking the Hella Rabbit here, but let's give it a shot with the walrus. Oh, the Hella Rabbit cannot go through there. Lovely. Oh, hey, Val. It's getting a little bit more, well, a lot more of <laughs> this. Hey, this game recorded. Right. Need to check and see if it is back here or not. I don't think it's going to be over here, but again... Since we are going into this totally blind, Everything is possible, and, um... There it is! There's the stage exit! Ay. <laughs> Ay. We're gonna do this. We're going to get through this game. We have to see this through to the end. Okay, Penguin Play Plan. We start as a penguin, there's a seagull nearby, a stinky seagull. We get... 
There are fish in the stage, there are walruses, there are other seagulls. There are SV boxes? This is new. Okay, that's not a thing the penguin can interact with. <laughs> if you fall in the water... <laughs> if you fall in the water, you're just dead. At least on that side. So we're gonna have to kill a fish with the penguin. Oh. Or... Maybe, maybe not. Um, yes. Definitely yes. We're going to have to kill the fish. <laughs> that didn't hurt it. Game. Oh, dearie me. Oh. Oh, I see. How do we get out? We can't get out. Okay, let's do that. Things that you, the game does not really teach you. You have to learn by trial and goddamn error. No, no, that goddamn it! If you fall in the goddamn water, either the penguin or the water uh, wall rifts in that little spot there, you cannot get out. You would have to die and start the entire stage over again. Not that it's that much, since the stage entrance is right there, but. Again, you still can't kill the fish. Killing the fish is not one of the hard things about this stage. So, you know... Oh god, polar bear. It, it, wrong polar bear! It's supposed to be the polar bear tank in this stage, not the normal polar bear. And there's... Oh, okay, that is apparently not a wall. But there's nothing over here anyway. I'm going up. What are we gonna find up? There's the seagull. Uh, uh, oh, there's there's a ski husky. So that's the thing that should have killed me instantly when it uh, went by me, but decided not to. So um, got lucky there, I guess. Or you know, this this game's enemies don't actually you know fight you. They fight each other on occasion, but they don't seem to like to fight you. Was I dealing damage? I don't know if I was dealing damage or not. I really don't feel like I'm dealing damage, I'm not hearing the damage sound effect. I mean, maybe I'm just throwing snowballs too quickly for it to play that sound effect, but... And of course, the polar bear has... Well, at least in the N64 version, the polar bear has crap tons of health, so I could be here for hours. So, um, this is very problematic. Because as the penguin, I do not appear to be dealing damage to anything. No, I heard it. I heard it deal damage. Heard it deal damage to something. Made that fuck sound. Of course, I would go back to the other area to get the walrus to um, do stuff, but at this point, that would mean starting the stage over again, so why the hell not? Let's try this. We cannot get the walrus into this area, so we have to do things as the penguin. No doubt about that. There's the 
bird. Supposed to be a bird coming back on this path. There it is. It's not dealing damage. What even the hell game? What? Ski Husky's dead. I don't know why the Ski Husky is dead, but the Ski Husky is now dead. Murder the polar bear. And it's not going to give us... <laughs> it's supposed to give us the information each time we enter a new animal. But as you can see, it, um, it definitely does not. So, Let's see if we can murder us a seagull with this ski husky. It did damage. I heard it do damage. Yes! What the hell was the second objective? I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> Get rid of that stupid statue. Okay. Let's figure out where exactly that is. And what we're gonna have to do to deal with it? Okay. So it's some kind of abominable snowman in this version, as opposed to, you know, the giant penguin statue that it was in the N64 version. Nope, no versions of this on GameCube. Uh, this was only on N64 and Game Boy Color. figure out what we need to actually do to activate these. Because I know in the N64 version, it was all about dead bodies. You would pick up the dead body of something and put it on top of it. They don't have dead bodies in this. Oh my god, they totally do. What? Alright, so I just have to hold down B and I carry the not body of things with me. Oh. Be careful of placement, apparently. Okay, we got one. Two more to go. Getting higher and higher! <laughs> oh my god, what is even? <laughs> Get in there! Where is the penguin? Penguin's gotta be down here somewhere. There it is, okay. Let's drag the penguin all the way to that thing up top. Done with this stage. There. I have to see. Okay, it just melts away. I should have saved that one for the middle there, uh, for the last one. But that's okay. 